Commission. Therefore, two flats, one above 139 and one above 141, uh, would be allowed under permitted development. No dedicated off-street parking provision is proposed with this development. However, the site is located within a commercial centre with access to good public transport links and other amenities, including a train station. Whilst it's likely the proposal will lead to an increase in demand for on-street parking in the vicinity, given the number of units proposed and having regard to what could be allowed under permitted development, it is considered there is sufficient capacity within the immediate location to accommodate this demand and not materially harm the living conditions and amenities of neighbouring residents. It's considered that the proposed use of the first and second floors for residential purposes is acceptable and is therefore recommended for approval. The application was removed from delegation by Councillor Leah Fraser for the reasons outlined on page 79. And there is also a qualified petition of objection.
and she implied that every flat needed to have one parking place allocated to it. I just ask if the network manager would just like to clarify the position with regard to that before I make any further comment. Thank you, Chair. As I said, the SPD4 supplementary planning document number four um, which talks about parking standards um, refers to parking standards in terms of, of maximum. So if it's one four um, apartments, it's one space per apartment as a maximum. Um, so if a development comes in with less than that uh, number of apartment spaces made available, um, then consideration has to be given to whether or not there are any um, other implications from that lack of parking. And as, as I said in, in when I spoke earlier, um, taking everything into, into account, I don't feel there are any other implications from um, the, the lack of provision on this site. Yeah, thank you, Chair. So really what we're looking at is probably two situations here. We've got a derelict building which has been brought into use by having two flats created in it, which is very good. As opposed to that, we've got the provision of whether there's adequate parking facility for those four flats or the two of them wouldn't need any uh, additional provision made because they're permitted development. So really the only thing we have to consider is whether there is a sustainable reason for refusal based on the lack of two parking provision uh, facilities for two flats. I open that. I'm not sure there is, but I would like to think that there might be, but I don't like to see congestion outside city centre developments of flats any more than a lot of people in this room do. But I'm seriously sure that there might not be a reasonable grounds for refusing it that could be sustainable as a people, although I am concerned about any development in this present day and age.